got a good idea. Probably something we're located. What are your goals? Bob helped us, you know, we didn't care if the test out in the UK, Bob was one of the tests in the UK with the very first samples. So said these are much better than the first samples we had. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Um, Let's try 600 in a bit. Well, when it dries. Try and remember the way around the circuit. Oh, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Where's Steve? Tell us, tell us. Okay, um... I was quite impressed with them, to be honest. I wasn't expecting the grip levels to be as good as they were. Um, the track's half and half wet and dry at the moment, and so there's a few rivers running through it, but they, again, they just cope with those really well, cook through the water, and uh, no squirms kind of when you're entering or exiting the corner on, in the damp as well, which is another bonus. And uh, they seem to roll really nicely as well. Um, in the presentation, we were told that you know where there's a unique feel to these tyres, and uh, to be honest, um, yeah, there was there was nothing there that kind of jumped out at me as, as odd or different. So that's not positive. Um, great in under acceleration again was really good, and uh, they seem quite stable even through some of the crests here, where uh, you know the nature of the track upsets the bike. Um, the tyres kind of did what they needed to do and, uh, and like I say, you know, they're rolling nicely into the next part of the track. So, yeah, first impression is quite impressed. Hopefully the track's going to dry out completely and we'll be able to uh, to go out and um, kind of push them a bit more. But, um, but yeah, just coming back in, it's in about probably six, seven laps. Good stuff. Very tight. They feel really good. Yeah, really, really solid. Even going through the... The streams of water yeah, that were coming down the track to go through there is like there's no water. Okay. Just cleared it away. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Really, really good. Thank you. Yes, very, very grippy, very positive. Yes. They're wet, they are very, very strong. Okay. Thank you. It's already completely dry on Adia. It's getting there. It's getting a lot more confident. Yeah. Yeah, you can't completely throw it. It's definitely near enough there. Because once I think it's completely dry on the whole rice. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, like, you've lost all the edges now. Yeah. I mean, that's there's no there's no edge on it now. How far does this go down into into the tire, the final tread? Uh, 0.8, that is the diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the thread thickness, yes. how much is the thread thickness? Start start. The secondly, the thread this is, is a nigga, thread, thread rubber, yeah. nigga, hold yeah. it. Yeah. Thread rubber. So, you, you quite often get this. That's not that yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 far over. No. Round the low. You mean the... Thread. 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 Maybe 8.5 uh, eight, eight, Small ones they are 0.5. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So when it's all point these they channel things, they're gone. 
No, it's not. It's not the channeling, though, is it? That's not. Well, that's not that. it's, it's the way they deform. I mean, I, I must admit, I did want to ask actually how exactly when this is deformed. How exactly it squidges in? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. How it squidges in? I mean, if you think about it, right? This is what it says. Look at all this, yeah. Hmm. If you think about it, you expecting that is actually really going in. It should be, yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's what that feeling is. You like the front? Yeah, the front's fine so far, but we're not pushing too hard. But again, sports touring, you must remember mm. yeah. that it is a sports touring tyre, not a sports tyre. Yeah. Right. So, really, it's, uh, it's good. Yeah. yeah, and I think that um, at least if you know, it's like with people, if you know where you stand with someone or a product, then, then you can work better with it. And that, these tyres have just told me what I needed to know and then I could play with it because I understood the parameters. So that's that's good. It's giving feedback. And in uh, your opinion, compared to other super sport tires, do you think they are on the same level? Or? Being realistic, comparing it to a super sport spec tire like the Super Corsa uh, Race Tech, no, it, it's not um, because. But I think that's logical, right? Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. But you know, compare it to, to something uh, within its category, yeah. and I think it's, it's it feels as good as a lot of sports touring tyres, if not better, because because the information it's just told me. Now I now feel, even though I've found the limit, I now feel that I can work with the tyre. Yeah. You know, and some tyres, especially harder compound tyres that are built for endurance, they don't give you the information you want because they're too rigid they're too and then they slice up and yeah up. and then it then it's about you know what do you do whereas with that then you could you could pretty much control how you got on the gas as to how much of a slide you wanted but no it's fun it's okay. informative all right <laughs> interesting yeah thank you thank you I really like that a lot. Did you read the episode 8? Sorry? Have you had a go on that? Yeah. Yeah. Have you had a go on that one? Yeah. It's really good. There's a... There's a... There's a... There's a... The road. You know, what more do you want for the road? That's the perfect thing. Yeah, I will not say I think the rep wet uh, riding qualities really shine on these tyres. And I think that you know the grip levels we've just experienced on a race are very impressive. So, yeah, like, what, you're never gonna ride on the road, as we've just ridden on this track, in wet and dry. So yeah, it, it basically is just proving to me that this this tire is capable. It can be a conditions um, at a fast pace. So yeah, it's for, for road use, I, I wouldn't really look for that much more. I personally wouldn't look for much more. And I don't ride that so on the road. Really so, yeah. It's a good option. And another thing I'm really impressed with is how fast they heat up as well. Um, yeah, that, that is nice. Sometimes you really want to so that, that was nice, that gives you confidence and that allows you to kind of push the tyre that bit more. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a good tyre. A lot of fun, I've got to say. Positive. Yeah, 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 it's got to be. Definitely. It's, um, we're trying to turn the diamond off the wide until we get on it and see what it does after that. What are you doing, sorry? The diamond's almost off on it. I just keep pushing it to it just to see what happens. Because how deep does the diamond go? Three mil? No, the, the small ones are 0 0.8 mil, and the larger ones are about 2.5 mil. Okay. But uh, okay, now it's almost getting uh, like a normal, uh, like a normal. Yeah, uh, it's quite interesting. Whether as well there's going to be that lip feel, you know, like when you square up in the middle, you know, with the sides, whether that that goes, you know, so we'll stop feeling. In case you take the tire off and put another one on, let's just, yeah, just yeah. Put, keep it going and just see what happens yeah. afterwards.
That is quite odd. Let me know. Yeah, please.